，约翰·兰农在去世的前一年，一九七八年，为保罗·麦卡尼在纽约加州录制成 demo 的创作歌曲《Now and Then》，为披头士经过 AI 技术处理后最新发行的最后单曲。即使约翰·兰农、乔治·哈里森相继离世，但仍能实现披头士早期未完成制作的歌曲。We didn't know if we'd ever have any future, but we did okay. <laughs> and so, you know, coming back here with uh, all my guys and all our crew and stuff, that's pretty, pretty amazing for me. I like the item to be the original item, and I know it's all about it's picking John's voice out and you know putting it into this what's going to be the last Beatles song. And I suppose it's wonderful that for the fans.、Um, But I don't know. I'm just. I've got a conflict. I still haven't made my mind up about it. I'm very conflicted with regards to that. But I'm sure it's going to sound wonderful, you know. And I'm sure it'll go straight to number one all over the world, whether I'm conflicted or not. <laughs> 台上的乐团模仿一九六零年代披头士演唱耳熟能详的歌曲，勾起乐迷们的回忆，也跟着一起哼唱。这里是英国城市利物浦，它曾经是繁华的海运中心，而披头士就是从这里发迹，吸引很多乐迷前来朝圣。It's one of the,、uh, the top reasons why people come to Liverpool,、um, Beatles and football, and so Beatles attractions in the city, you know, are really important, and the Cavern obviously being one of them. 一到利物浦就能感受到乐迷对披头士的狂热，一听到披头士有 AI 歌曲，乐迷们都很期待。You wait for so long, they do not produce songs for so long, so people are eager to see them again. Well, at least him.、Uh, I don't know if he's singing with someone else, but well, nevertheless, I think yeah. Sometimes it's worth to expand the lifetime. 此外，专门研究披头士的利物浦大学博士泰勒斯指出，五十多年前解散的乐团现在发布最后一首歌曲，从某种程度来说，对几乎所有披头士乐迷来讲是非常温馨的时刻，也是一个结束，意义重大。公视新闻，沈路佩编译。